Reverend Andriette, and this is Point of Power. We're continuing with our Shelter in Place edition. And can I just say how grateful I am, how grateful I am for our graciousness, our compassion, and our generosity, that we are wearing our face masks, that we are wearing our gloves, that we are sheltering in place, that we are keeping, when we're out, uh, we are keeping our six foot distance. All of that is in support of each other. It's our way of ensuring that more of us, as many as possible, can get through this pandemic alive and well. Let me just pause for a moment because we've just celebrated Memorial Day, which typically is reserved and certainly has as its focus our veterans. And I want to just acknowledge and celebrate and honor our veterans who have served um, for the greater good for all of us at different times. This is not me trying to go on record around war or not war. I'm simply saying that whether there was a call or a draft, there are those who served on behalf of the rest of us. So I want to just honor that in honor of Memorial Day as it has just passed. I also want to, in a similar way, just honor those of you who are in grief right now and who are working your way through grief for any reason at all, but especially those who are at the effect, at the grief effect of this pandemic. And so we just are going to pause for a moment of silence where we just honor that the lives lost, the lives dedicated, the lives given in any and all of those situations and circumstances. And so it is in an attitude of gratitude and thanksgiving that I once again quote Dr. Howard Thurman in saying, I want to be more loving in my heart. We are softening, that we are more open to standing peacefully in line, that we are more open to wearing a mask that we don't want to wear, that we're more open to staying home even though we want to be out in the world and with people, that we are honoring our commitment to well-being for each and every one of us. What happens, I believe, um, is that when we are centered in this place of gratitude that I am invoking and affirming that we are in touch with, and Marianne Williamson says this, in fact, in her A Year of Miracles, which of course is our, is our devotional read for daily, is that when we're in this attitude of gratitude, we are more in touch with our miracle working energy. You see this, this place of gratitude, no matter what, I am thankful for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. That kind of attitude and energy puts us in touch with our capacity for, for miracle making. And when we are more energized and others are more energized in our presence. So my prayer is that I am encouraging someone to be in touch on day 160. Marianne Williamson, in talking about the meaning of life, says that when we were born, we had a natural tendency to focus on our imagination and our creativity and the flourishing in that. And ultimately, we were taught, we were kind of trained out of that and into something else. She says it's as though when we, once we got here, we took a sleeping pill. And in that sleeping state, we lost touch with the love 
that we were born with, which is why we invoke Howard Thurman. I want to be more loving in my heart. I want to return to that openness where I see things through a lens of love and deep caring. Because too often what we have learned here and embrace is fear. So our point of power for today is this return to love. This awareness that a miracle is an authentic shift from fear to love. My miracle is my authentic shift from fear to love. And when I make that shift, that's my point of power.